Hello everyone, it's Mari here for Honeybee Stamps. I'm going to be creating this card that you can see here for you today using the gorgeous Lovely Layers Magnolia die set. I've die cut the magnolia off screen and here you can just see the gorgeous bloom that I have that I'm going to create with. I'm going to be using some Distress Oxide inks to colorize my magnolia bloom. And what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of Kitsch Flamingo and Pick Raspberry on my table over to the right, just slightly off camera. That's where I'm grabbing the pigment from with my watercolor brush. So I'm just going in with my wet brush and grabbing some of that Kitsch Flamingo, tapping the color onto the paper and then splattering with that ink over top. I'm trying to remember to just colorize the areas that have the etched embossed lines from the dye because the solid white areas without the etching are going to get covered up with the next layer of white cardstock. So I'm also going to add some splatters with picked raspberry over the Kitsch Flamingo and that's going to just be a little bit of a darker pink and it'll show up on that lighter pink a little bit more. And here's that next layer. I'm just going to um, add the color to each one of these different layers of what my white cardstock in the same way. This is just plain white cardstock. It is not watercolor paper. So I'm trying not to use too much uh, water when I'm doing this technique. And actually it works out really well. It didn't pill the paper. It didn't really lift the grain of the paper at all. It really handled the, the um, moisture really well. This is a hundred pound hammer mill white cardstock that I'm using. So it is a little bit of a heavier white cardstock, but like I said, it is not watercolor paper or mixed media paper. So here you can just see again, I am finishing up this same technique with the last layer of my magnolia. If you have not seen the Honeybee Stamps Lovely Layers Magnolia dies, they are amazing. Every single one of the Lovely Layers dies in that collection are just so gorgeous. I love them. And I think they're one of my favorite things about Honeybee. Although I will say the fact that Honeybee has dyes for all of their sentiment sets is also another amazing feature about Honeybee stamps. So just finishing up this process, just gonna clean up my area a little bit. I'll set those off to dry. And now I'm just gonna do the little tiny center pieces. Now the little center die cuts, I'm going to colorize with bundled sage and forest moss. All of the inks I'm using again are Distress Oxide inks. You can find these in the Honey Bee Shop. And I'm just going to start with the bundled sage, the lightest color, and then I'll splatter with the darker color, the forest moss. And the splatters are not going to obviously be quite as evident with these tiny little pieces, but you can still see them. And I just like that look. I like the texture and dimension that splatter adds to any type of project. This is the Uncharted Mariner Distress Paint. It I love distress paints. Um, they're so much fun to work with. I love the fact that they're not super thick. They're just a really nice thickness for painting with. And I'm using a Dina Wakely wide brush here. It's about a one inch brush just to loosely brush this pigment on. I don't want it to look perfect. I want there to be some stroke marks. And here you can just see I've used the gorgeous dogwood blooms 3d embossing folder to create a panel for my card front i am using an a2 size top folding card base for my project and i wanted to just add this on my background for a little bit of extra texture i love this 3d embossing folder from honeybee it is just absolutely stunning i think that honeybee has just done a, an amazing job of the 3d embossing folders they've come out with they are absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to take some wide foam tape and add that onto the back of my painted paper. By the way, the paper that I used my distress paint on is watercolor paper. It is Ranger watercolor paper. I love that paper because it is bright white and you can find that in the Honeybee shop. I'm going to put a little bit of our Honeybee liquid adhesive on the back of this foam tape. And what that's going to allow me to do is just wiggle my paper around a little bit so that I get it nicely centered. And that foam tape doesn't grab right away just because that, 
that liquid adhesive is on there. Now I'm going to place this into my mini misty and stamp my sentiment on here. I should have done it before I glued these parts together, but I forgot. So I took my mouse pad out of my mini misty and it doesn't really matter. It's all good. I'm going to stamp out my sentiment. My sentiment comes from Inside Thankful Sentiments stamp set, which is one of my favorite honeybee stamp sets for sentiments. It is gorgeous. You can just see here the sentiment that I've chosen for my project. It stamps out beautifully on that watercolor paper and I just love how this is looking. Nice and clean but yet some really nice color and texture. So now I'm going to go ahead and glue my magnolia together. This is so easy to do. Honeybee does an amazing job of just allowing you to see where all of the little um, bumps and, and shapes are on the magnolia so that it makes it really easy to layer it together. And so here I'm just lining up the petals, the shapes of the petals, and adding just a little bit of liquid adhesive kind of in the center of the, the bottom area of the petals so that the, the outer edges of the petals are all free. And in that way, I can fold them up and just create a little bit more dimension and texture on my project in that way. So really, really easy to layer this together. And then of course that little center piece, the green is going to go in there nicely tucked into that little center area for that beautiful magnolia. Now I'm going to pop my magnolia up on some pop dots. I love these pop dots that have the little tabs on them. Makes it a lot easier to grab that release paper off the back. I'll use my honeybee tweezers to help me flip that over and now I'm just going to get that into place. I'm going to use a little bit of white paint. You could literally use almost anything for this, whatever white medium you have that you like to splatter with. I like to use Dana Wakely white gloss spray, but you could water down some you could water down some white paint, you could use um, gouache, you know, lots of different things in your space that is white that you can splatter with. And I love the texture that this adds to my project. I really enjoyed making this for you today, friends. I hope you were inspired. Make sure you check out the links in the description box below to all of the products that I've used from the Honeybee Shop. Have an amazing day, friends, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.